Hey guys, it's Jay St. Hilaire. Talk to you today about uh, inspections. How important it is to uh, go by a blueprint or have an outline or some kind of path or plan when you do your inspections. The uh, most important part to find an ARV is uh, inspection of a property, the repair list, uh, the estimate of what it costs to get that property in the condition to uh, to get your ARV after repair value. I just got done climbing a 300 foot tower that I just showed you to inspect it and uh, there's a path and plan to go by as we do inspect these towers which one of them is either make sure the power's off or have a hotline work order in case something happens they can shut the power off and it's very important so and that's how important it is for you to do your due diligence and get an accurate estimate for your after repair value the steps you want to take uh, to go through to get that accurate estimate now you if, if you're a remodeler you can do that yourself uh, and if, if you're not a remodeler and you don't know how to do it there's two things two things you can either do it yourself if you know how or find someone else that does know how to do it and it's pretty simple it's one of them two things and it's pretty easy to find a contractors contractors everywhere go to yp.com yellowpages.com Look for contractors or home remodelers or handymen uh, in your area to get them to give you them uh, repairs. And uh, what you want to do is is get square foot costs of your repairs, a square foot of the roof of, of the roofing material, square foot of the floor, square foot of the walls, all that stuff. And your handyman or contractor will give you all that information. In the, in the video. After this, uh, or in a future video, we can go through step by step every uh, how to get the square footage of the floor, and maybe go through some uh, home uh, some home supply stores to give you them square foot prices. Like say in my area, in every area, it's going to be different, as you've learned in, in a lot of other videos. But these square foot uh, per square foot costs will give you what it is, and then you can break it down. Uh, and, and all the areas, flooring, square foot of paint, uh, sheetrock on the walls, uh, OSB or chipboard sheathing on uh, for the underneath, the plywood on the roof, so on and so forth. So forth. It'll all break you down. Don't get discouraged because there's so much to think of. You just ch chunk it down one one piece at a time, and uh, don't 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 get overwhelmed. All right, uh, just keep going, keep keep moving. Don't let up, and uh, you guys will succeed. All the information is right here at your fingertips. That's all you got to do is uh, come to IE right here, go to DG.com, get on the internet, uh, any social website, any forums. Uh, try to stay right here on DG IE because uh, we have the answers for you. And once you get the answers, you have to take action. You have to implement the action we tell you, or nothing's going to happen. Don't be afraid. Take it step by step. And uh, if you need question, if you need questions answered, ask anybody here in in the uh, expert contributor contributor section. You can send send a message to any of us uh, students, and the answers are here. You just have to ask. Ask the right questions and implement those answers, and you guys will succeed.